Hi guys, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we're going to talk about parasites. So those of you who have got my book Beauty and the Gut, you will have read the chapter on parasites and how they can take over your whole health, immune system, wellness and can cause a lot of problems. So if we are breathing, we all have parasites and they live inside of us. And sometimes they can just be absolutely horrific and they cause so many, so many health problems. I've had clients with parasites dealing with health issues and they steal your nutrition, they make you feel really unwell and we have to kill them. That is what we need to do. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that because it's something that we should be doing on a regular basis every single year. So we ideally wanna be doing a parasite cleanse at least once a year, if not six months of the year. And even just every single day, add foods into your daily lifestyle that are going to target the parasites. So some of the things that I have every day are pumpkin seeds and cayenne pepper is on all of my salads and in my dressings that I make, which is, um, if you've got my recipe book, um, I'm also redoing the recipe book as well for Amazon, then cayenne pepper's in there quite a lot because I love, personally, I love spicy food, but it's really good also at killing those parasites. So I'm gonna just talk to you a little bit about what's in Beauty in the Gut. If you've not already got it, I'm gonna just read a few of things and, the kind of things that you might have, the symptoms wise, what you might be getting. So things like chronic fatigue, disturbed sleep, anemia, muscle cramps, joint pains, um, anxiety, depression, the mental health issues, constipation, diarrhea, then we've got your IBS, then the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which I'll do another video on at some point. I'm gonna try and do these videos once a week so that you're getting information from my books as well and other things I'll cover. Um, sugar cravings, so if you're someone who just absolutely loves sugar and gluten's another one, um, they will want to eat those kind of foods, yeast and things, they like to feed on those things. So it's them, like I always say, imagine you've got these little gremlins inside of your body and they're, and they're just trying to eat all of that food that you keep feeding them and, and they're saying to you when you, you're having that sugar craving, give me it now. You know, it's that little gremlin inside of you. So um, the other one, obviously I've mentioned the IBS, so bloated feeling. Um, so you need to stop feeding the gremlins, guys. That's what you want to think about. So every time you have those sugar cravings or every time you have that dairy cravings, another one, I know some people are addicted to dairy. Think about you feeding those gremlins inside of your body. Do you want to keep feeding those gremlins because they're taking over your whole life? They're taking over your body. Um, so yeah, just have a think about that. And then the other thing that they do is they can actually increase your cortisol levels. So your cortisol is your stress hormone. And when your body is constantly stressed out, it is chronically inflamed. And you know that the root cause of all of the health issues, if you followed me for long enough now, is inflammation. So you have to get rid of inflammation in order to heal the body. Yes, inflammation is good because inflammation can also heal us. It's when it gets chronically inflamed then we have a huge problem, we have all these diseases going on and it's because we are chronically inflamed and most of the time it's to do with the cortisol as well because we also have, a, we have really, really stressful lives. So most of the time, guys, we're all living in our, our sympathetic nervous system. We're not in a parasympathetic nervous system and it's that parasympathetic nervous system we need to be in in order for us to heal which is what I cover in my second book, How to Beat Coronaviruses and Other Viruses Naturally, because we have to be, we have to de-stress in order for our body to rest, repair, relax, and start to begin to heal us, because your body can naturally heal on its own if we just learn how to do that and tune into it. So coming back into the parasites, um, so, the, and I've just mentioned they can disturb the gut-brain connection, which is when we get into the mental health health issues, we've got these anxieties, these depressions, it's all linking into your gut health and what's going on inside of there. So not only have you got maybe potentially these parasites, but you've also then got an overgrowth of the bad bacteria because you've just lost all of your good bacteria through your diet and lifestyle over the years, as well as those antibiotics, etc., etc., that have completely disturbed your whole gut microbiome. And then we've got issues going on there with Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, gut dysbiosis, there's a lot going on inside of that gut. Is it any wonder we have so many chronic illnesses today because we're feeding us, we're feeding ourselves all the wrong things. Um, so 
how long can it take for you to get rid of parasites? It, it depends on how many you have in you. And um, for some people, it could take up to a year. For others, it could be a week. For another person, it could be a month. It is really unique, individual, like everything else, we are unique. So it's, it's gonna be different for every single one of us. Um, so did you know the Greek meaning of parasites means that one that sits at another's table? So they are stealing your food, guys. Every time you eat food, they are eating your food. And is it any wonder you then start to feel sick? You know, we have so many people today who've got chronic fatigue, that low energy feeling when they can't even get out of bed, which is also your autoimmune issues as well. And a lot of these parasites are creating the autoimmune issues. And then also getting into cancer patients. Many cancer patients have been found to have parasites living inside of their gut. And how long have these parasites been inside of you, you know? Where do you get parasites from? Of course, that's another question. It could be from anything. It could just be contaminated water. We go on holidays to different countries. You know, I was in Mexico um, a couple of years ago now, and as soon as I came back to the UK, I was like, I have to go to Parasite Cleanse. I also went and got a colonic just to be on the safe side because you don't know what you're picking up when we go to different countries. You, there's parasites all over the place. You just never, never know. So. Get those parasite cleansers in every year or every six months or try and eat foods daily that are going to be killing parasites off, as do I, you know? Get in the cayenne pepper, get in the pumpkin seeds. These will kill them daily. The other things, I'm gonna, I've got the list here for you guys just to have a, I'll read them out to you as we go along. I'm nearly finished with the video. Um, but they are also in, of course, Beauty and the Gut. The parasite cleanse is in here. There's a few things. The one thing that's, that is missing in this book is berberine, which I recommend to all of my clients who have IBS and SIBO. It is one supplement that I will always tell them to go to that first to heal their bodies. Um, so, um, it is really, really important that we think about parasites on our healing journey and I will go through some of these supplements now with you. I've done it on my whiteboard. So parasites, we have things like hot pepper, and olive leaf extract. Olive leaf extract is on my Amazon account so you can buy supplements from me. So that's on my website. Check out my website if you want to link up to the supplements that I sell. Um, there's pumpkin seeds that we mentioned. Wormwood's really good, and there's berberine, as just mentioned as well. Cloves, easy one to get, cayenne pepper, again, you can have that one daily. Oregano oil, fantastic for killing parasites, natural antibiotic. Garlic, have it every single day. And um, mimosa pudica, not sure if I pronounced the, the end word right there, but kills parasites instantly, fantastic. Um, Neem's another one that I recommend to lots of my IBS and civil clients as well. So those are just a few on there. And then the rest are also in Beauty and the Gut. I have a list there of the supplements that you should take for your parasite cleanse. So think about your parasites when you are beginning to heal, guys. Um, so I've covered it like so specifically in Beauty and the Gut. You've got leaky gut, you've got your IBS, you've got candida, you've got parasites, you've got sibyl. You've got to address all of this when beginning to heal from things, especially like a lot of women that, that come and see me have IBS, they have bloating issues, they can't eat foods because it's just everything's just creating a problem inside of their gut. So this is what we need to get to, it's the root. Remember your digestive system is so important when you wanna heal, because if you aren't absorbing any of the nutrition from the foods that you're eating, then you're never going to get any of that nutrition into your cells. And in order to heal, we have to get to a cellular level, which is where I obviously encourage you to juice as well, which is in beauty and the gut too, to start with juicing with lots of greens, loads of greens, get them into your body. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that with you for today. Parasites, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And then next week, I will give you another video on a health topic, whichever one it is. So I'm going to cover so many more topics, guys. I have hormones to cover. I have more gut health, gut health issues. Obviously, I've got my second book, which is filled with so much fantastic information. If you've not picked that book up already, there's lymphatic health in there. We need to cover too. And obviously, I'm looking very oily today. I do have almond oil on my skin because all, I'm all about using natural products on your body so that you can 
allow the body to heal rather than put more chemicals onto the skin. So that would be another video. Anyways, guys, have a beautiful day and I will see you on the next video.